know where to start, so why don't I just hand it over to you. What do you think is the most important thing um, coming out of that, that report that you, uh, the wrote, you wrote in the Times a couple of weeks ago? Well, listen, I really appreciate being invited to talk about it. Um, I think it's really sad and disturbing what's happening with the ape trade. There are many animals around the world that are being smuggled, killed, poached, uh, traded illegally. And what, what bothered me was that this was happening to man's closest living relatives, apes. And that includes gorillas, orangutans, chimpanzees, bonobos. Um, and these animals are, are really smart, really sensitive. And what's happening is there's this giant global enterprise uh, connecting buyers in places like Armenia, Dubai, the United States, all over the world, who want to get their hands on these baby apes, either to use as pets or to keep in zoos or just for their own amusement. And these animals live deep in the rainforest in, in Africa and Southeast Asia. And there's this whole pipeline of smugglers and poachers and businessmen and dealers that snatch these animals out of the forest, put them on ships, often drug them, beat them, abuse them, mm -hmm. and then sell them for thousands of dollars. And in the process of getting one baby chimpanzee, for example, often a whole entire family is shot to death. In the, in, the, in the forest because these animals are social, they're very protective. They're not just gonna hand over you know, a, a baby uh, to, to some, some alien force that comes into their habitat. And so often these poachers mm -hmm. will literally wipe out an entire family to get their hands on one infant. And why do they particularly want the infants? That was a big theme of your report. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is almost like too, too, too much to believe. So. To transport a live ape is very dangerous. Gorillas are incredibly strong. Chimpanzees are, are something like eight times as strong as the average human. And an adult ape is, is, is dangerous. And so if there's a zoo, let's say in China, or a um, animal park in Thailand, and I'm using real examples. These are the destinations for a lot of these animals. Um, they will put an order in to these smugglers and say, you know what, we need five orangutans by next month. And they want to train mm -hmm. these animals to perform in front of crowds and to, to make money. And so the, what they'll do is they'll, they'll put out this order to these smugglers and these poachers to get an infant because that is the only ape that's, that's possible to transport across the world. And so then these, these, these capture teams will fan out into the forest looking for this particular animal. So I, I, I think I know the answer to this question, but I'd, I'd love to hear it in your words. You know, people will be watching this, they're at home with their family and friends at Thanksgiving, lots of things on their mind, people are struggling to make a living here in America. Why should they care about this? That, that's a really good question. Um, the way we treat animals says a lot about ourselves. It's, it, it, it speaks to our empathy, our compassion for others. Animals don't have a voice. And I don't mean to get too sentimental about it, but the way we move through the world and through the environment says a lot about us. And I write, uh, you know, as you mentioned in the introduction, I just published a book called Love Africa, which is a memoir about my experiences over a decade in sub-Saharan Africa. And I found that even in this part of the world that's much poorer and has you know, many failed states and many political problems, there's a deeper sense of empathy that people are more connected mm -hmm. to each other and that they, they, they share more and they express more. Um, and so I think that's just something we shouldn't lose sight of. And the way we treat animals says a lot about our empathy or our lack of empathy for others. Well, I couldn't agree more. I thought, think you put that beautifully. Um, thank you so much for being with us today, but especially for bringing this story to the world. We really, really appreciate it. And for viewers who want to help, Jeffrey.